Hello everyone, in this video we will install PowerMDA and start it. In the last video you had bought a VPS from here, then its login etc. Here I have received it, so look here, I buy this VPS on 2.32 am. And my login details came quickly. 2.43 am my details were also received here, so you will get some details like this. Okay, so this is the address, you have to click on it. I do it here. Close here. You have to enter the login details. So this is my mail ID. I put it here in the login. Password is also mine here. They have given this also. After putting this here, I click on login. So as soon as I log in here, my panel here will be logged in and then when you if you come here you will see my IP etc and VPS etc. Okay and whatever you have done. Took an IP, this is the one which is 158, this is the main IP, and this is the additional IP. Okay, so now let's log into this. Okay, so this is my IP here, or you can copy it from here also, okay? So I copy it, and after that what you have to do is that you have to go to a software called device. If you do this here, then you download. It here also, you have to go to it and you have to download it. So download Bitvice Client. So you download and install this. One or you can also use PuTTY. There is a software called PuTTY so you can download it from here. You can, but what happens in PuTTY that if there is no file here, then you can. Device is the best, it has all the files and both are terminals together and the file are together, you can access the VPS key here, okay, so I do it here, close my Bitvice here, download it on, I open it, and in this video, will we go step by step, then before installing our PowerMTA, we will install our Vestap here, then in this video we will install our Vestap, in the next video we will install our PowerMTA, okay, so what needs to be done for that is that first I do the login in the terminal here, I opened it, in the host you have to enter IP address, the user's name, you have to enter the root here, the port 22 will come here, I do this, I log in, accept here, clicked on, and password, when I was doing this, there they asked for a root password, so this one is the root password, and I had given it there, you. Must watch the previous video I have given it there. When I bought this VPS from Contabo, I had entered a root password there. If you do not remember it, you can reset it here. Reset the password, then from here your root password will be there. It will be reset OK, so I put that here and I clicked OK here and here I am logged into the root when I Open this terminal then here I am logged into the root OK yes and here. You can also access the files simultaneously. This is when you click on the file below the terminal. Here you can access all the files which are in the root and also. So what will you do after this? What you have to do is that if you update the system, then you must run this command yum update. If you don't need it, then what do you do directly? We install Vestap here. Okay, so we will follow our process accordingly. So, first of all, we have to install Vestap. So, its two commands are here. I will tell you a little about it. If I make the texture a little bigger, then this will help you a little. Or I can go to the properties and make it big. Okay, so first of all, run this command here. Okay, I do this. Copy in here, you just right click the mouse. Paste will be done here, and after that, you have to click on enter, and after that, you have to do the next command, this is what I do, copy and I paste it. It here and click enter. As soon as you run this second command, something like this will appear in front of you, okay, before that. 
What do I do here? Which is my domain name. I copy it from Y, okay, and hear it. Is asking, do you like to? If you want to continue, then you type Y and. Hit enter here. Here it is asking for an admin email address. So, what do I do? I put the same email address here, admin at my domain name and click enter OK after that it is asking that if you want to change the port of Vestac, then you can change it here. I don't have to do it, just click here and after that it is asking. What host name? Do you have to enter? Then I enter my domain name or I enter the host name and click enter. Then my Vestac installation is done here. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes to install. If it happens, then wait for it after that we will continue our video here. Is completely installed from Vestac also, so after that you will get the details and last. So what do I do with this? Select it from here and paste it here. I do this because in the future, when you will be setting your incoming, this will be useful to you. Okay, so I do this, log in here and show it to you and click on proceed and paste go advanced. Do. And after that it will ask itself, username is yours, admin password, I have copied it, I have logged in then. You will be logged in. The domain you have in the web has been added here, if not added. If it happens then. You can add it by just clicking on add and also you can put the domain here in its DNS, crowd job, etc. will be created here, then your Vestac, this one has been covered. In the next video, we'll install PowerMTA.